Welcome to the Bronto YouTube channel. Today we'll broach a topic which has recently become highly popular. How to dehull the soybeans right before the extrusion process. Why is this theme one of the most requested? The answer is simple, because the process of dehulling helps to increase the protein content in soy oil cake and it improves the oil yield during the mechanical pressing in the oil press. These advantages are achieved with the use of the peeling and crushing line LSG4. Now, let's take a look at the whole installation. It consists of the following main units. The service platform. The dehuller mill SG4. It crushes the soybeans, separating soy shells from the kernels and crushes the kernels into several parts. The screw conveyor. The bucket elevator. The air separator separates the soy kernels from the shells with the help of airflow. The Cyclone OTI-1000 in its turn removes and outputs the shells. At the top of the Cyclone, there's a section with a gate valve for controlling the flow of air. The air duct. The fan. The first branch pipe. The air separator stand. The second branch pipe. Now, let's examine in detail the Dehuller Mill SG4. It consists of the following main units. The main frame. The safety cover. The base. At the top of the Dehuller Mill, there is the inlet hopper. The outlet port is located at the bottom of the machine. Inside the machine, there are two pairs of rollers. The first pair are the main rollers, the second are the following rollers. The torque from the electric motor is transmitted by belts to the main rollers. On the opposite side, there is a shaft belt driving the following rollers, which consists of pulleys and hexagonal belts. If any extraneous metal objects or foreign matter falls into the machine, automatically the springs take off the following rollers. As a result, the extraneous object moves through the gap between the rollers. Operating principle of the crushing and peeling line. Starting and stopping the line is performed with the help of the control cabinet. First of all, you need to start the dehuller mill, the conveyor, the bucket elevator, the fan, and the motor of the cyclone rotary valve. Now, feed the material into the inlet hopper of the dehuller mill. Using the handle latch, you can regulate the feed of the material in the processing zone. The dehuller mill grinds the product to the required dimensions, dividing the beans into soy shells and kernels. The two pairs of rollers rotate towards each other. As a result, the process of crushing takes its place. The gap between the rollers is regulated by the handle position. For example, the horizontal position of the handles is for the smallest gap between the rollers. From the dehuller mill, the material is fed to the conveyor, the bucket elevator, and the air separator. Soybean shells have a light specific weight. That's why airflow moves husks up and outputs them through the cyclone. Inside the cyclone, the shells settle down and finally, they're output through the cyclone rotary valve. The soy kernels are discharged through the bottom outlet port of the air separator. Now you can use the crushing and peeling line LSG4 independently. Stay with us and subscribe to this channel. There's a lot of useful information ahead.